What's up, Flipsiders? So it is January 31st, and if I'm slurring my words at all, I'm sorry. It's cold, and it braces, and my lips are frozen together, and I'm just opening my mouth for the first time in like 45 minutes, so bear with me a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but it's January 31st, um, and I just finished uh, the video I was making for Catherine. Um, and it's taking like three, three hours <laughs> to export. Um, and so I thought I'd go for a walk. So my computer's locked up, I've been inside for a long time. So I decided to come out for a walk and it's beautiful. It's snowing. Um, and yeah, so I just finished that video. And for those of you who don't know, um, I was making a video for Catherine for Valentine's Day that I started working on back in September. Um, September, October, somewhere in there. And the concept of the video was I went through all of my vlogs and all of my gaming videos. And actually, Alejandro helped me go through all these videos. So, shout out, big shout out to you, buddy. Um, excuse me. The idea was to take all of the videos that I've ever posted and any videos, man, that had to do with Catherine anyway, whether I was telling a story of something about Catherine or I was going through something that was kind of brought on by something that came up with Catherine and I and just whatever, whatever, if anything had to do with her in any way, I was going to put it into this compilation. Um, so it, I thought it would be a kind of unique way to kind of look back on our story because it's our story from back in 2013 from my perspective and through the good times and the bad times and just through all of it told by me as me in that exact situation so uh i thought it would be really cool um and so i'd been working on it for a couple months and then when we broke up in florida it was nearly finished at that point and so i came home and after a crappy week i just decided okay I gotta finish this. Like, it just wouldn't feel right to not finish it at this point. Um, and so the last two nights slash days, <clears throat> I busted the rest of this video out, and <laughs> it ended up being two hours and 45 minutes long. So it's it's about the length of a Lord of the Rings movie, which is insane. Um, and it could have easily been like four hours if I would have put in every video that I actually talked about her in. Um, but I left a bunch out that wasn't as necessary to the actual overarching story. Um, but yeah, it ended up being almost three hours long and I, I think it's really unique, um, and, and kind of cool. Um, unfortunately it ends on kind of a bummer ending, which wasn't the initial plan, obviously. Um, so it would have been even cooler whether if it had a happier ending, but at the same time, it's just, I, I wanted to give this to her, um, I still wanted to give it to her, not because, well, I was hesitant, I was, because I was thinking about, should I do this, should I not, and I was thinking, like, I don't want it to come off spiteful in any way, and I don't think it will, and I don't think I come off that way in the video at all, um, but I don't want there to even be a, a thought that this is out of spite, um, just because it's like, look how sad I was in him. I'm like, no, not, not at all, but I thought it would be cool, maybe a year down the road, or just whenever she, she looks back on it to kind of see how big of a positive impact she actually was in my life, and how much she actually really changed my life. Um, even if she didn't necessarily mean to, um, it, it, it's very cool to see the transition from, uh, 2013 Jacob to 2016 Jacob, and, uh, there's, there's a lot that goes on in between, and I don't, I don't know, I, th I think it's neat, I think it's neat, and I'm on the crappy side of this, cause, uh, I didn't, want to break up, and even I can find just the coolness in the whole thing, so I hope that she is able to find some kind of 
something uh, in the video and that she can enjoy and kind of look back fondly on. So I'll probably give that to her maybe tonight or tomorrow uh, whenever I hook up with her again. But uh, I, I usually, I was actually surprised because I... I'm able to hold it together. I wa I've watched the video twice now because once when I put it together, once as a kind of like a proof um, to kind of make sure everything was in order, uh, just to make little tweaks here and there. And uh, I'm usually I can go through the whole video essentially without crying, which is great. But every single time, and I put together almost the entire video without crying, um, except for the parts when I was filming. But when I was actually, like, putting it together, um, I was good. And I was, like, actually really enjoying the whole looking back on everything till I got to the very, very end. <laughs> and I cried both times. <laughs> I cried both times at the end. But I think it's just because there was so much potential there. And it almost feels more this time of kind of, like... There's more of a finality to it. At least that's the way it feels right now. Um, which made it even harder to kind of let that, let it go. Um, which I think is why last week was a big reason why it was so difficult. It's because it really just did feel like, like this was going to be it for us. Not that I would be opposed to it coming up again in the future, but it just doesn't seem... I'm just not holding on to that. Um anymore like like I have for the past almost three years at this point but <laughs> that being said there were two or three things in the video that I was gonna do like interlaced throughout the video that I didn't actually do um, because it would have just taken more time and I it wasn't I wasn't gonna put everything into this video just in case I need tricks for later. <laughs> so, I say it, there's like a finality to it, but there... And I said yesterday, like, there's not this hope that maybe one day she'll come around, but I guess... I guess inevitably there really still is, but it's not something that I'm really holding on to, and even now as I'm talking about it, like, I'm okay. I don't feel like bursting into tears or anything. Um, it is very cold out here, though, so I might start crying if I don't get inside and warm soon. Um... But yeah, that video's done, and it's almost three hours long, and I'm going to post it. Not necessarily um, in hopes that anybody would watch it. Um, if I'm being frank, I don't really care if you watch it or not. <laughs> Feel free to, or don't. Um, I don't know why anybody would really want to watch three hours of m mine and Catherine's story. Um, but I want to put it on here just because it is... This is kind of like where I've put everything that has going on in my life um I, I post it here so i'm gonna put it up um and yeah i just i'm happy i decided to go ahead and to finish it and i'm happy that i decided to just get it done as soon as possible because as i'm kind of was putting the video together at the end it really felt like a good i got like a good sense of closure from it like, this is done, this is off my plate, kind of like um, closing the chapter, you know, and, and moving on to a new one, um, and, I, and I'm ready to move on to a new one. I don't know what that is, or who that is, or what's going to happen, but I'm basically open to whatever God would have come my way. So, I'm going to go home and get warm, take that video to Catherine. Start work tomorrow, get back to the gym tomorrow, and then just start again tomorrow. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all are having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Oh, and real quick, I just want to throw out there, Monty and I got in contact with a couple people who, because I'll talk about this another day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the flip side.